Hi there, it's Isaac with Hatton Cars. And today we are going to talk about the DSP tuning, specifically how to achieve a one seat tuning in your car. So to recap a little bit what we talked about last time, why we need a DSP, let me do a couple illustrations here with simple pictures. All right, so this is a typical home audio configuration. As you can see, it's really easy for you uh, to adjust the positions of your speakers, to have a perfect placement of the speakers so that the sound coming from both left and right channels are reaching your ears at the same time. You can as well adjust your couch positions, your seating positions as well to accommodate this, but uh, in general, it's very easy for you to achieve a perfect sound balancing with perfect distance of the speakers to your ears. However, in the car, as we see in the second picture, let's see. All right, here we go. However, in the car, it's almost impossible for you to adjust the speaker location because it's fixed, right? Every speaker has its own locations. You cannot do anything about it. Uh, and also you are sitting on the front left. So there's no choice. You have no choice, right? You have to drive the car. So very limited uh, adjustment you can do to the speakers and your seat. Okay, so and that means the sound coming from every speaker uh, has a different time uh, reaching your ears. For example, the front left speakers, the one that is closest to the drivers, the sound coming from it is always reaching the driver's ears sooner than the other speakers. Right? It's pretty easy to understand, right? The sound travel from air by air and it has a several velocity. I think it's 340 meter per second. And in order to make it so that to achieve the perfect scenario, like the picture on the right, uh, every source of sound is coming to the driver's ear at the same time. We need some sort of device to adjust or to delay the uh, the sound output of each individual speakers. In this case, we have the DSP that we talked about last time uh, so that we can do time alignments on all speakers in order to achieve this uh, perfect scenario here. Okay, so let's go straight to the DSP tuning software so that we can, I can show you how to do uh, the one seat tuning on this kind of cases. Okay, all right. All right, so we have the DSP software here. Uh, first of all, I want to give you a disclaimer. I'm not a car audio expert. Uh, I'm sharing this just based on my experience uh, tuning the software in the last couple of weeks. So, um, and this is not based on any scientific theories behind. There's no scientific backup or anything like that. I'm just doing my research on lines and try by error myself and figure out that this is the best way for me to tune the DSP software in order to achieve a one seat tuning. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, in case you guys have any comments, suggestions, or correct me if I'm wrong, feel free to leave any comments down below. Yeah, your opinions, comments are really valuable in, in helping other people as well. So, all right. So let's go straight to software here. In this case, it's the Pusu software, okay? 
All right, so I have channel one uh, assigned to my left front speakers, channel two, the right front, channel three, it's the left rear, and channel four is the uh, right rear. Okay, the rest of it, uh, just ignore it right now, as we don't need to talk about it in this episode. All right, so in order to make a one seat tuning, you uh, first set the delay on the right front speakers to zero. We are using the right front channel as a reference at all time. Okay, so we set the delay on the right front speaker to zero right here. You can see zero, zero seconds. And then it's going back to our left front speakers okay so you start delaying the left front speakers little by little until you start hearing the sound if you have a vocal song or something like this that's the perfect thing to to use if you have a vocal song very strong vocal vocal song or any vocal files I suggest you using this to tune it. All right, so you delay the front left speakers in a way so that you start hearing the vocal is coming from the uh, center of the dash. Okay. And you need to experiment a little bit, you know, um, or you can play around a little bit. Sometimes if you adjust too much, you will start hearing the, the, vo the voice is coming from the right. You know, it's biased to the right. So let's take, for example, once we hear the sound, the voice is coming from the center dash at 0.396 seconds, just take it as an example right now. And then we stop this, okay. And then we shut down all the speakers on the right hand side. That means we shut down the speakers on the front right and the rear right. Okay, only the front left and the rear left, we leave it turn on. All right. And now we start tuning the uh, the rear left, okay, we start delaying the rear left speakers, okay, say for example, once we delayed it to 1.083 seconds, we start hearing the vocal is coming from your A pillar, the left A pillar, very close to the uh, the cell panel, the cell panel is uh, right next to the, the mirror on your left door, on the driver's door. So once you start hearing the vocal is coming from the, the cell panel or close to the A pillar, then you stop it. Then you stop adjusting the time delay. Okay, just leave it at right there. In this case, just assume it is at 1.083 seconds. All right. Okay. And after this, you turn off all the front speakers. <clears throat> you turn off the front left speaker as well. And then you turn on the right rear speakers. Okay. So right now only your rear channels are on. The front channel should be off, all right? And then we adjust the delay on the right rear speakers, okay? All right, we start delaying the right rear speakers to the point you hear the vocal is coming directly from the center of your back seat. Okay, 
So that means the vocal, the voice is coming from close to the center of your back seat, or you know, somewhere around there. Then you stop adjusting it. All right. For example, you stop it at 0.354 seconds. Okay. All right. After this, you turn on all the speakers again. You turn on all four channels, and you should hear a very significant difference before and after tuning. Okay, you should hear a very full sound stage. And of course, uh, when we use a DSP, we always try to lower the uh, the sound output of the rear channels so that it won't draw the front stage back when we listen to the music we always want the uh, all the sounds coming from the front right just like when you're sitting in a concert everyone is playing the front right no one is singing the back or playing any instrument from the back right it's always on the stage same for car audio configuration in the industry standard we always focus on the sound coming from the front all right so try to adjust the rear channel volume so that you could only barely hear it so that it won't draw the front stage back to the rear to the rear all right so when you achieve this uh, it's pretty much tuned and this is called the one seat tuning for the drivers. And after this, you can save this in your DSP software to whatever. Many DSP has six to eight um, <coughs> different settings. You can save it. You know, you can save it in your DSP as you know driver seat tuning or whatever. You can name it whatever. And that's pretty much it, you know, and that's how easy it is for the driver's seat tuning, one seat tuning on the DSP. Okay. And next time we will talk about um, if you have passengers sitting in the back seat as well, and they also want to enjoy some really good quality music, how to do it. All right, so uh, stay tuned and and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I'm going to share a lot of information, not only on car audios, but also on how to improve your cars in general, to improve the ride qualities, to, to add some more interesting gadgets in the future as well. So don't forget to subscribe to my channels and if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time. And okay. All right. See you guys next time. Bye bye now.